that, Bo. I can start you off with uh, Mother Jeff and Douglas, who said my guys. <laughs> now, he tweets us a picture and then has the, the tweet with it, but let me describe the picture to you. It is of a tall boy beer can right. from Angry Chair Brewing, and it says Angry Chair Brewing, and then an X, and then it says Duke's Mayo. Because this is a collaboration between a beer brewery, I guess I don't know what other kinds there would be, a brewery, and Duke's Mayo, where this flavor of beer is a Duke's chocolate mayo cake stout. So apparently you can make a cake right, with so it's mayonnaise. A, it's, it's a chocolate cake. Yes, you can make a cake with mayonnaise, and that's what keeps it super moist. Sure. But I could understand how if someone saw Duke's mayo on a can of beer, they might go, blah. But it's essentially a chocolate it's stout. It's a chocolate stout. Yeah. That they've had some marketing fun with. Yeah. Imperial sweet stout with coconut, cacao, marshmallow, and vanilla beans contains lactose. All right. Anyway, I'm just reading the ingredients. All right. So Mother Jeff and Douglas tweets us this photo and says, in honor of there being a Duke's Mayo beer, what's the weirdest food slash drink combination you'd be willing to try? For and money or just for fun? I think you said just be willing to. I think for fun. I'm, let's say there's no money involved. Because, I mean, this looks like something where it's like, well, I guess I'll try that. That's interesting enough. I would probably I mean, I'd try. Give, I'd try that. I'd I'm try not, this stout. I'm it's not probably, a big stout guy, but I would try it. Yeah, I'd probably do that. Now, on the beer front, one thing I know I've had before that I really liked, actually, is a jalapeno beer, where they put a little bit of a spice note in there, jalapeno spice to it, usually done with, like, a lager or something, you know, not... And sometimes IPAs, they do it, but... I like that. It gives it a little bit of a extra edge to it. Not bad at all. Uh, but that's not, I don't know, is that super crazy to have like jalapeno flavored beer or well, yeah, that yeah. spiciness element added to a beer? What about uh, some of those liquors that have like scorpions in them? Oh. Would you try that? I'm not aware of that. Yeah. What do, what do they do? Just, like, just type in the Google machine. Just liquor and scorpion <laughs> inside. How do I spell liquor? Liquor. L I Q. What if I don't even know her scorpion? You. How would I? How does one, how does one find? Good job, buddy. <laughs> Who are you, me? <laughs> also, JPB tweets and says, "My guys, I'm listening to yesterday's podcast right now. I would pay Common Man a hundred dollars if he did an entire episode in his Matt Andrews voice. Physically, I could not do it. No, I. That I voice don't takes it out of me like no other voice. Like I can do the Queen all day. Maybe you don't want to hear it, but I can do it." But when I do the Matt Andrews voice, I yeah, I feel it in my chords. That's vocal I bet, chords. Yeah, it's it's not easy to do that, I'm yeah. sure. So I just found I Googled scorpion vodka or scorpion liquor. Yeah, it's there, right? Uh and then it what came up was a scorpion vodka from it's called Armored Tail, and it's a, a 50 milliliter bottle. Which is not very big. This is almost like the kind, it's almost the size of something where like a doctor would get a syringe and inject it in to get the medicine out. Yeah, yeah. That's basically what this is. It's a tiny little shot bottle basically for $10, but it has a scorpion in it. Mm -hmm. It says this special triple distilled vodka has been steeped for several months, allowing the scorpion to infuse the liquid with a unique woody taste. Woody taste. I don't know what the hell that means. Our scorpions what does that mean? Farm, it tastes like wood. Our scorpions are farm-raised and measure approximately three to four centimeters long. And the good news is they are totally edible, but mind the sting. So choose the friends you share the vodka with wisely. When you reach the end of the bottle, who will take up the challenge? It's a, it's a gimmick. It gives no flavor. You want a woody flavor? Put a piece of wood in there. Well, that's Put a piece of mesquite in there. Yeah, you know, I, you know what? I probably, if someone had this, I didn't have to do anything. And they're like, will you try a shot of this right now? You would yeah. do it? I would try a shot I of that. I wouldn't do it gross i would try a shot of it it's been an alcohol i don't know it's like i can eat testicles but for some reason bugs oh, creep no, no, me no. out i couldn't do i can't do organs like I, you can like, put nuts in in vodka and i would have no problem with that like veiny bevelinin nuts I, but you uh, put a uh, bug in there I, I don't know why i just it's very well, i know i know why it's a bug bugs well i know are, but bugs are gross bugs are gross you stuff. know what else is gross veiny nuts yeah, but for you're some right. reason, I got. I, well, I don't say I have no problem with that. I well, would have less problem with that than like a beetle. But you're someone who would. I mean, you want to eat human flesh. So if you saw some human flesh in a bottle, you would say, "Well, I got to think about it." You but know? I, I don't want to eat like Fred. All right, I, I don't want to see like a dead person and then cut a little piece no, of that dead person again. I want it all cleaned and cooked for me. 
and then I would have a taste. But if there was just a dude looking at me saying, eat me, yeah, like I would a, have a problem with that. I'm going to be dead soon, and when I die, you can eat me. Yeah, I, I don't want that. The only time I think you would actually accept that is if it was like me or Ted. If one of us said, or Timmy. I couldn't eat my friends. No, 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 no. If me or Ted or Timmy said, when I go, if you're still around, we're going to have someone harvest some meat and then process it. So then it's given to you raw, but it's like, I don't know, ground up or in a steak or whatever you want it to be. And then you can take it and cook it yourself. You don't have to do any of that to us. You would just know where it came from. You would know the source. I, I wouldn't be able to cook you. No? No, I need a professional chef to do it. Because I'd be afraid that I'd overcook you and that's insulting oh, to your memory. The, the pressure or, would be there. The pressure would be there. Like, oh, my God, did you flip T-Bone? But you, you would forgot to flip his loin. It's yeah. too dry. Wait, come on. There's only one cut you're getting off of me. What? The bone. You got to get a T-Bone. You got to get a, you know. No, I want the tenderloin. I want the bone, whatever the loin would be on a man. Well, I think we know where the loin is, right? Yeah, I don't know. Then it rhyme? Groin? Groin and loin, I think they're the same thing. I think that's what the no, loin it's not is. the same thing. I think the loin on a on a on a set of beef is just it's that area. It's the, the well, inner it's thigh, the, right, leg it's the area, inside of the area. Well, I mean, it's not a, like I'm eating yeah, your same thing. No, the groin is. I think the groin starts mid leg and goes all the way to victory land. All right, you know, like right, I think well, it's. <laughs> I'm saying I think it's you know victory for who? I don't know. Glory, <laughs> glory road. No, is that what no. you want? I don't know what you Nobody's want. Nobody's staking their claim to you know. my victory land. <laughs> Wow! <laughs>